Hello and welcome to an episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason in Tipton, Missouri, a very interesting town, and I am just at St. Andrew's Catholic Cemetery, where I'm going to be visiting the grave of a famous rock star. So come with me, and I'll show you. And it is a very dreary day out here, and it just stopped raining, so I just decided to make a video while it's um, stopped. Hopefully it doesn't while I'm doing this video, but um, but it is windy, so I know I can't help that. But right over there is a water tower. I don't know if it's the only one here in America, but it is the only one here in Missouri. It is the eight ball water tower. Now, there was a billiards manufacturing company here in Tipton. I don't know if it still exists. I don't even know if they still make billiard stuff, but as a tribute, um, in 1968, that eight ball water tower was put there. And also, this is the home of comedian actor David Koechner. He's been in a few Will Ferrell movies. You probably remember him most from Anchorman, the whammy guy. And there are a few um, graves that I've seen with the Koechner name on it. So I'm assuming, I think it's safe to assume that he is related to them. Also, that family farm over there has been owned um, for over a century by the Keckner family and I'm wondering if he's related to them as well because there's a sign on that fence right over there That says Missouri Century Farm by the Keckner family. So I'm figuring the name must be really big over here But this is st. Andrew Catholic Cemetery established 1845 and This is where Gene Clark the co-founding member of the birds is buried Gene Clark is known as one of the founders of the alternative country genre, as well as popularizing folk rock, along with many others like Bob Dylan during the mid to late 1960s. He was born Harold Eugene Clark here in Tipton, and he was one of 13 children. His family would eventually move to Kansas City. It's like 100 miles from here when Gene was very young. His father would teach him how to play the guitar and harmonica, and Gene would look up to early rock and rollers such as Elvis Presley and the Everly Brothers. He had played in high school groups such as the Sharks, and he would eventually work with a folk rock group in that city known as the Surf Riders. In 1963, Clark was 19 years old when he uh, moved to Los Angeles, California and became a member of the new Christy Minstrels. A year had passed when Clark heard the Beatles for the first time, right at the height of when Beatlemania came to America, and that was when he realized he wanted to change musical course. Another musician by the name of Jim McGuinn, or also known as Roger McGuinn, um, he saw George Harrison play a 12-string guitar in the movie Hard Day's Night. He would eventually meet Gene Clark at the Troubadour nightclub in Los Angeles. Him and Roger would co-found the influential folk rock group, The Birds. They would team up with David Crosby and then would recruit two other guys and the band was up and running. Now, two of their biggest hits, ironically, were not written by The Birds. One of them was Turn, 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 and that was written by legendary folk rocker Pete Seeger. But he also used the um, lines from the book of Ecclesiastes, such as a time to be born, a time to die, all that. And there's also Mr. Tambourine Man, which was known as um, one of Bob Dylan's original songs. And by the way, the birds were originally dismissed as a Dylan cover group. Clark would sing backup, and he was also the primary songwriter of the birds during their first two albums. They were, they were commercially successful, and there were songs like I'd Feel a Whole Lot Better, which was one of my favorite covers, is done by Tom Petty. And then there's also My Back Pages. One of his most controversial compositions, which, by the way, was co-written with Roger McGuinn and David Crosby, was Eight Miles High. And that was when a lot of radio stations banned the song, Eight Miles High. <laughs> well, that song is not about drugs, or at least, um, McGuinn said so in an interview. He said, well, I wrote the song. I know for a fact it's not about drugs. It was about Gene Clark's fear of flying. <laughs> but 
In August 1965, that was when Gene Clark discovered he had a fear of flying upon returning on a plane from England. Now this, along many other major factors, including internal, you know, um, what do you call it? Internal issues with a group, like creative, I guess, differences. That would lead to him leaving the band in 1966. But he would sign a contract with Columbia Records and start a solo career. Clark would actually briefly reunite with the Birds in 1967 for about three weeks after David Crosby left the band. But some of his solo albums included Gene Clark with the Gosden Brothers, which was released in 1967. There was also White Light that was released in 1971. There was Roadmaster, No Other, and Firebird, that was, which was released in 1987. He also participated in reunions with the Birds throughout the years and toured with acoustic instruments and shows with Roger McGuinn. So I'm going to go ahead and take you to his final resting place. In 1991, Clark was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Birds. But unfortunately that same year, he died of natural causes in Sherman Oaks, California. And this right here is his final resting place. Now, I think he told one of his, I don't know, really know the whole backstory of why he is buried here, but, um, and I don't know how true this is, so I can't really confirm this, but he did tell one of his bird's bandmates that he wanted to be buried here. So, but you guys wish if that's the case. So here is Harold Eugene Clark, and there is fittingly a tambourine on top of this. And people have left rocks and pen and coins, and it says no other. He was 46 years old. But rest in peace, Gene Clark, or the real name Harold Eugene Clark. Again, sorry for the wind. I know I picked a weird day to do this, but I knew I wanted to visit this stop on my Central Missouri trip. But again, I am at St. Andrew's Catholic Cemetery in Tipton, Missouri. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. And I am Jason, signing off.